In this episode of Flange O'Clock, we're going to go over pressure classes. Before me, I have one inch raised face slip on flanges. All three of these are one inch raised face slip on flanges per B16 5. B16 5 allows for a class 150, class 300, class 400, class 600, class 900, class 1500, and finally class 2500, which is available up to 12 inch. ASME B16.5 is the standard for pipe flanges from half inch to 24 inch nominal pipe size. B1647 for 26 to 60 inch Series A and Series B have different pressure classes that we can go over in another video. The difference between these three flanges is the pressure class. This is a class 150, this is a class 300, and this is a class 600. The differences are in the dimensions, except for the bore. You see, this is a one inch pipe that can be placed in each flange. So, telling me it's a one inch four bolt flange isn't quite enough information. You can see that we have the one inch 150 and one inch 300 have raised faces of a 16th inch height. Contrast that with the quarter inch raised face height on the class 600 flange. These dimensions can be found on pages 3 through 12 of the Texas Flange Catalog. Typically speaking, higher pressure classes are going to be heavier flanges. There's a couple exceptions to that. In class 400, small sizes up to three and a half inch nominal inclusive are identical to class 600 flanges. Likewise, class 900 flanges are identical to class 1500 flanges in all respects for half inch to two and a half inch inclusive. So in this case, all three of these flanges have four bolt holes that's not enough to describe a flange completely. You can see the bolting chart on page 14 of our catalog. A three inch 150 pound flange has four bolt holes, whereas a three inch 300 pound flange has eight bolt holes. As we move from one pressure class to another, we see that they get heavier. And yes, common sense dictates that they will be rated for a higher pressure. But the 600 class, for instance, is not a 600 PSI maximum service. When we say 150 pound, or 300 pound, or 600 pound, we're referencing a class, not a maximum working pressure. I have here the A105 pressure temperature chart. So in the case of a 200 degree Fahrenheit application, a class 150 flange would be good for 260 PSIG working pressure. In the case of a 600 pound flange at 400 degrees, your working pressure would be 1,265 PSIG. Specifying the pressure class will help us ensure we get you the flanges you need when you need them. 